In other news, some horrific breaking news out of Texas with police on the scene of a deadly mass shooting at an elementary school. The governor of Texas confirmed that several students are dead, including a teacher. Let's take a look. The shooter was uh, Salvador Romas, uh, an 18-year-old male who resided in Uvalde. Uh, it's believed that he abandoned his vehicle and entered into uh, the Robb Elementary School in Uvalde with, with a handgun, and he may have also had a rifle, but that is not yet confirmed according to my most recent report. Uh, he shot and killed horrifically, incomprehensibly, uh, 14 students uh, and killed a teacher. Uh, Mr. Uh, Romas, the shooter, uh, he is, he, uh, he himself uh, is deceased uh, and is believed that responding officers killed him. At approximately 11.32 a.m. this morning, there was a mass casualty incident at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Uh, this school uh, has children that are in second, third, and fourth grade. Uh, the suspect is deceased at this point. Uh, DPS is assisting with the investigation. Um, and at this point, the investigation is leading uh, to tell us that the, the suspect uh, did act alone uh, during this heinous crime. As are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name we do what we all know in our gut needs to be done. We have an update now. The teenage gunman killed at least 19 young children and two adults at an elementary school in Texas on Tuesday, prompting, as we heard, there are there a furious President Joe Biden to denounce the U.S. gun lobby and vow to end the nation's cycle of mass shootings. The attack in Uvalde, a small community about an hour from the Mexican border, was the deadliest U.S. post shooting in years and, and the latest in a spree of is... bloody gun violence across America. Texas Department of Public Safety officials told CNN the gunman is believed to have shot his grandmother before heading to Rob Elementary School around noon where he abandoned his vehicle and entered with a handgun and a rifle, wearing body armor. The gunman was killed by responding officers, the official said, adding later two adults also died in the attack. Footage showed small groups of children weaving through parked cars and yellow buses, some holding hands as they fled under police escort from the school, which, which teaches students aged around 7 to 10 years old. It was the deadliest such incident since the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting in Connecticut, in which 20 children and six staff were killed. The White House ordered flags to be flown at half staff in mourning for the victims, whose deaths sent a wave of shock through a country still scarred by the horror of Sandy Hook. In the immediate aftermath of the attack, Rob Elementary, which teaches more than 500, mostly Hispanic and economically disadvantaged students, called on parents not to rush in to get their children. The deadly assault in Texas follows a series of mass shootings in the United States this month. On May 14, an 18-year-old man shot 10 people dead at a Buffalo, New York grocery store. Wearing heavy body armor and wielding an AR-15 rifle, the self-declared white supremacist live-streamed his attack, having reportedly targeted the store because of the large surrounding African-American population. The following day, a man blocked the door of a church in Laguna Woods, California, and opened fire on its Taiwanese-American congregation, killing one person and injuring five. Despite recurring mass casualty shootings, Multiple initiatives to reform gun regulations have failed in the U.S. Congress, leaving states and local councils to strengthen or weaken their own restrictions. The United States suffered 19,350 firearm homicides in 2020, up nearly 35 percent compared to 2019. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, said in its latest data.
And the news continues here on ASEAN in Focus. Eliana and I will be back right after this break. <laughs> 